Hey guys, how's it going in today? And today I'm going to show you how to tame a liquid sulfur geyser right here. It is a new item that's introduced in the Space Out DLC, currently in our early access. Uh, it's used for three specific things at the moment, but a lot of things can change once Clay uh, updates it and out of early access. Uh, so it's used to feed your Sweetle your grub grub and also the grub fruit plant which requires a temperature of 15 to 50 degrees celsius anything less or more than that range unfortunately it halts the uh, growth of the plant which sucks because then no more food for you right uh, so a lot of things can change uh, in this time and then once it's out of early access because they can use the liquid sulfur for other stuff but currently that's what we need to use it for um, and anyway so liquid sulfur comes out at 165 degrees celsius which is really really hot so it's burning burning hot and then it solidifies into a solid at 115 degrees celsius but we actually need to go a lot lower than that for our dupes to be able to handle without a Atmo suit and also to use it to for our plants and our critters. Okay, so I have a very simple cooling loop right here, which actually just has metal tiles and then runs it through a aqua tuner and then it just cools down the sulfur. So right now the sulfur itself doesn't actually cool down when it's in place. So you see I have 944 kilogram at 88.6 degrees Celsius. It actually does not cool when it's actually in place. It also does not cool when it's also in um, in a vacuum or in, uh, in oxygen. Uh, but it does cool down when it is on a shipping rail uh, in water or on a metal tile, which is pretty interesting so that's what we're going to do so I'm going to show you a nice little example right now uh, don't mind this I don't know what's going on it's supposed to have like oxygen in here let me put some oxygen in here because uh, it did have oxygen in there before but I guess it's just uh, it just disappeared there have some oxygen okay anyways so oxygen's in there uh, for oh so for this this particular uh, build right here you don't really need anything special you actually don't need to have a vacuum at all uh, you do need steel for the aqua tuner and also plastic for the steam turbine uh, other than that I use you can use iron for the conveyor loader and also the auto sweeper as well and lead for the metal tiles and the radiant pipes which you should be able to get once you have it once you're in this asteroid which has uh, oil and also lead so nothing special or not that much special stuff anyways okay so i'm going to show you the, temp the temperature right now you see right there this is at 14.8 degrees celsius so it's pretty chill right here it's pretty chill up here too the sulfur is pretty chill too so you see how the sulfur is just sitting there but it's not going down any further yeah even though it's like it's in water, but but it's not on a shipping rail, so it doesn't actually get cool, which is really odd. I think they might fix that later. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so it's very very cool right now. See the cooling loop? It just cools down the. It goes into the aqua tuna. I've set my uh, temperature for the aqua tuna at 22 degrees Celsius. So anything above that, it starts running the aqua tuna. Uh, it runs up here to cool down the steam turbines and then it goes down here to cool down the metal tiles which also cools down the sulfur and it runs over here as well just to cool down this area to our maximum maximum coolage of the sulfur and then it runs back up and for the shipping rail you see it's just very simple uh, shipping rail gets put into here and then it goes down goes over this way where it's already it's currently being cooled by the water snakes all this way here and then up here and then it checks the temperature if it's below 30 30c it will ship out if not it just stalls there until it gets it gets down to 30c okay so let's show you this in action so as you can see it starts shipping and the temperature starts dipping really really quickly very very quickly I see you can try this with like just oxygen or whatever but it won't actually dump dump in sorry won't drop the temperature quick so it stays here and you see the temperature drop really quick I actually had this outside of water it's just like oxygen before and the temperature itself was going down super slow like like very very much much slower than this so there you go and three 
two, one. There you go. All that gets shoved out and then you can use the sulfur that you have cooled down. Pretty, pretty simple. That's all there is. So I'm gonna show you how to build it. Um, yeah. Okay, so I just spawned a sulfur geyser right here. So one of the main thing that you need to do before uh, you start uh, building this whole entire thing, give me one moment, igneous rock here, um, is that do not dig out the the sulfur geyser so that way it is not active while you are building this. This is very, very important. Do not have an active liquid sulfur geyser um, until you are ready, um, until everything is built and everything is ready. So we're going to build it now. So one, two, three, up here. Sorry about that. That that shouldn't be on this side. That shouldn't be. Right there we go. Okay, hold on. Uh, we, we just we just want enough for the auto sweeper and also the conveyor loader. Three up and then five across. This is for the aqua tuner and then we have one, two, three, four, five. Down, down. And then we can use the mesh tile. So I was using igneous rock for the insulated tile, so nothing special. Um, metal tiles, I'm using the lead for the metal tile. So when you can fill all this up until here. Okay, and then we'll put in the aqua tuner. Make sure it's facing this direction. So uh, input on the left, output on the right. Okay. And then we'll do the piping. We want an overflow bridge right here. And then we want another overflow right here. So this is actually very important for you to have um, within the, sorry, within this, um, this loop. Um, because without this, once it reaches uh, the temperature it wants, um, it actually just stops and your liquid stops moving, which is very, very odd. So you want to connect both two white inputs and then the green outputs right that, and you want to go up, up, and then connect the input to the other input, and then the other output to the other output, like that, and go up this way, one on this side, one on this side, and then we'll have uh, hold on, two, three, four, for the steam turbine. So you can press O to flip it. Usually you couldn't, so you can change the direction of the output pipe for the steam turbine, which is really cool. You see right there. Okay, and then we'll put in the thermo sensor. It doesn't matter what material it's built out. It doesn't overheat or melt. Well, it does melt, but it doesn't overheat. And then we'll connect into uh, the automation into the uh, aqua tuner and we'll change this to above 22 degrees Celsius sorry 22 degrees Celsius uh, and then we'll put we'll do the rest of we'll change it to radiant pipe going this way okay so we want to fill the whole entire area with a look good with oh sorry radiant pipe so it cools the whole entire area and the bottom you actually have to put it like this so it actually snakes because if you go this way then you have to run up here again which I don't think you'd want to do that okay there you go so that's the cooling loop liquid cooling loop and then we'll change it into the shipping rails okay we'll put a conveyor shut off right there with the thermal sensor right here and then we'll have the automation so connect this to that right and Put this as below 30 C or whichever temperature you want it to be. And usually 30 C is fine. 30 C is a pretty good temperature. So shipping rail will have output right here. So you can actually um, connect your shipping rail to your uh, supply teleport right here directly if you wanted to, or you just want to leave it there. It's up to you. Okay. And then we'll have the shipping rail go like this. Same thing. Same thing like the uh, same thing as the liquid pipes just whoops snake it like that okay and then we'll just go like this there you go we'll have the conveyor loader iron right like that and then we'll just connect with copper wire you don't need anything above copper wire right 
connect that, connect that, connect that. Um, although, in this case, we do need a large large transformer. We do need a large transformer. Right. Right. This is in sandbox mode, so yeah. So we do need a large transformer to connect all that in. And I believe, you turn it on, that's it. Yeah, um, so we just wanna fill this with water. Liquid water all the way up. And you actually wanna fill this also with water and water right here as well up until the second, yeah. So you wanna fill it up to there. Now, before you, um, before you actually um, dig this, you actually want to have your cooling loop running until you have a specific temperature that you want it to run at. So let's do this. Let's do water. Oops, sorry. Uh, one moment. There we go. Sorry about that. Yeah. So you don't need you don't need anything special. Just water is fine. So pump the water in, and then make sure that this this whole entire area is at the specific temperature you want it to. So let it let this whole entire thing cool before you turn on all of this. So I'm gonna let it run for a little bit. The aqua tuner is tuner is running right now. So when it reaches below 22C then we'll dig this out and then we'll start with the conveyor loader okay so now it is happily at 20 20.8 20 uh the aqua tuna has stopped work it's not well it's not being used anymore so what we're going to do is i'm going to clear this out well it seems like this liquid sulfur is currently dormant <laughs> uh we'll just go back to here uh this is currently erupting right now the sulfur comes out and it is solidifying right away, um, right there. So it goes down to 95, 90, yada, yada, yada. And then we turn on our filter right here. Everything gets shoved into the conveyor loader. And there you go, same thing repeats. So all this is gonna leave. And then that's all there is. It is. A simple uh, sulfur geyser tamer. And that's it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it or learned something from it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya. Bye.